Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today we have something very special. This is the Tebow Tarantula, and we're going to unbox it today, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for the unboxing of the Tebow Tarantula. Recently, Gearbest reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted any printers to review on my channel. And of course I said yes. And we picked out the Tebow Tarantula and I'm really excited to unbox this kit. This will be the very first kit we've ever built on the Print 3D channel 3D printer kit. And I'm super excited because it's a very, very cool kit. It's the Tebow Tarantula. And actually, there's a little story that goes behind this, how quickly this got to the Print 3D channel. And I'm super excited about it because I think there's something special in this box. When the box arrived, three days after we, after we requested this particular printer, I opened up the box and inside the box that comes within the box, this, there was a brown shipping box on the outside. And this came over DHL Express from China, straight from China. And I have a bill of lading and a parts list here. On the very last page, well on page five, at the bottom it says TiVo Titan Extruder. And that's pretty cool. I'm very excited about that because I've never seen a Titan Extruder. I hope that's what's in this box. I'm thinking they did some upgrades to the TiVo and that's why they rushed this over to me in three days from China. I kid you not, three days. So let's put that aside. There's some information on the box. I want to read it to you. It says specification, best layer resolution is 50 microns. The filament diameter is a 1.75 plus or minus 0.05 millimeter diameter. The nozzle diameters, it says 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0.5. And I wonder if it comes with all those nozzles. Material capability is PLA, ABS, HIPS, nylon, PC, PVA, flex, and PLA. And the power requirements are obviously 100 to 240 BAC and the seal hasn't been broken. I have not opened this box yet, so I'm really anxious to get started. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Let's break this seal. I have my trusty X-Acto knife handy. And let's go ahead and break the seal on the TiVo Tarantula. Super excited. This is our very first 3D printer kit, and I've never built a printer. I did have to assemble my brother's printer when it came to me, but there was a G-Max printer and it was just putting parts back where they belong. It wasn't actually assembling a printer. I know a lot of uh, other YouTube creators have gotten the TiVo Tarantula and they've assembled it on their channel. And I've watched a couple of videos and I know there's a lot of modifications for the TiVo Tarantula. And I even know there's a company that makes carbon fiber replacements for all the acrylic parts too. So there's a lot of options with this printer once it's built or while we're building it. But here's another cool thing. Within the next week or so, maybe next weekend, we are going to live build our very first live stream. Yes, you heard it here first. Our very first live stream, we are going to live stream build the TiVo Tarantula. So I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to do it. This is so exciting. So enough with me talking, let's open up the box. All right, well, from my understanding, these are very well packaged. And you know what, let me flip this around so you guys can, so I can see in the box. And we're gonna go with the overhead camera from here on out until we're done unboxing this. From what I understanding and all the unboxings that I've seen, this is boxed super well. The TiVo people, they do an amazing job with the packaging of their printers. So first off, we see our TiVo Tarantula assembly album, or assembly manual, excuse me. And there looks like there's some after sales card and a business card inside of here. I'm gonna have to, let's see how we're gonna do this and keep this on camera and not interfere with the camera at the same time. I think that will do it. Sorry about the shaky cameras here. But anyway, here we go. Here is the first thing we see when we open up the box and that is the TiVo Tarantula assembly manual. And uh, before we go any further, Let's open this up and see what's inside of here and let's check it all out. Now, I know that they did a lot of improvements on the assembly manual because of people having some issues with the assembly. Uh, in particular, I know Angus over at Maker's Muse he basically had to fumble through putting his together. But either way, I hear there's some improvements. So here's your after sales card. You have replacement parts, missing parts, all the other information for that. So we'll set that aside. We also have thanks for your order. 
and there appears to be another checklist so we'll keep this handy and make sure we did get everything and there's a little business card here which probably could be used as a bed leveling card to make sure your bed is level so that's pretty cool to have around i'll keep that handy and of course the awesome tebow tarantula assembly manual let's take a look at that we have a read me first we have a letter from tebow and we have the assembly instructions these look very very clear this is very very well organized i like that everything is coming in its own little bag I, I just watched a video recently and they had pictures of the bag, but it looks like they've done some alterations to make this a little bit easier to read. Heated carriage, it's got a heated bed, that's awesome. X-axis, Z-axis, print carriage installation, let's see. Does it say anything about the TiVo Titan? Uh, there's the E3D clone. I don't see anything, oh, nope, that's the brain board. Okay, well, slicing information, BL Touch preparation, all your information. This looks like a very, very detailed manual, and I'm really glad to have something like this. I'm sure there's something online, and like I said, I've watched quite a few videos on the assembly of the TiVo Tarantula, and I'm pretty sure I have this nailed down. I know a lot of us other YouTubers have already done this, but this is my first one, and I'm really excited. I'm really glad to have a very, very uh, concise manual here. So put that aside. And let's make room and let's see what's under this first layer. So we have our foam packing. And the first thing we see <laughs> is two little rolls of their really cool color changing filament. We have some ABS 1.75 with a temperature of 200 to 240. And that's very cool. I don't know if you can see that. Let's make sure we can see it. That looks very, very cool. Let's set that aside. And we have another roll of the PLA version of the color changing filament, and that's very cool too. Temperature's 210, 1.75. So that's very cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a couple of these items out and then I'm gonna put them back in their layer and we'll set the layer aside. So the first thing I see here is the acrylic bed carriage. That looks awesome. We have some assorted wiring, wiring harnesses, and I don't see any labeling on these, but I'm sure it'll be easy to put together. TiVo's really good about that. So we have all of our wiring harnesses and they're all pre-wired together. That's awesome. So we'll put those back in their little cubby there. Looks like there might be something underneath the acrylic. And there is, there's a USB cable. Looks like we have a length of PTFT tubing. Put that there for now. And we have the heated bed. So let's take this out carefully so we don't ruin anything on it. Ooh, that's very, very nice. It looks like it has some sort of build tack like surface on it. And the connector is very well protected with some Kapton tape, so that should protect these connections here. I've heard some people talking about this connector, but this is my first build, so I will be experiencing issues as we go should they come up. So we'll slide that back in. And we'll make sure we cover that up nicely and protect it and we'll put our acrylic back down and our PTFT tubing and let's just set this up over here and that's the first layer all right looks like everything goes on to this this layer is kind of a half layer because of the filament let's just set that there the next layer I don't see any parts laying around so that's always good and the first thing I see is Titan extruder Titan extruder Yes, this is a Titan extruder. I don't know if it's a genuine Titan or if it's the TiVo version, but that is a Titan extruder. I've seen pictures of this online. That's awesome. That's a upgrade. I've never seen anyone unpack that in their box, so that's awesome. Underneath that, we have some acrylic part. Let's set this down. We have some acrylic parts, and we have, looks like the belts, and... We have some couplers, B4-2, and some more coupling, coupling hardware. Ah, some rollers and bearings. Those actually look pretty nice. Awesome. So we'll put all those back in their little spot there. Pretty excited about this Titan extruder, guys. That's pretty awesome. I've never seen one before in action. I've never actually used one before. Very, very stoked about that. We'll set that aside. We have another acrylic part. Looks like we have some cable management and 
some more rollers. This is probably for the, uh, I mean, guessing that this stuff is for the extruder assembly and this is probably for the carriage. So we'll put that back in there. Slide our acrylic back on top. We have another piece of acrylic here. And it's good acrylic. I mean, I can't complain. I've never used acrylic on a printer before. My GMAX has all steel parts, so this will be interesting. And we have some more bags of stuff, some more rollers, some more bearings. What else you got down in here? It looks like we have motor mount. Ah, there are parts for the extruder carriage for the drive system. That's awesome. Looks like that's our feed wheel. Nicely, nicely toothed feed wheel. That looks pretty good. Looks like it's got a spring assembly. This has got a locking mechanism, which I like. Oh, there's a steel part in here. Awesome. This is plastic. So put that stuff back in there as best as we can. Okay, let's move over to here. This is the extruder. And they're calling it the E3D. So I think it's a clone. Not sure. Pretty sure you guys will tell me in the comments. But it looks very well made. It looks very nice. I don't see a silicone sock, so I think we're going to have some cooling issues, but we'll see as we go. What else we got down in here? We have a goodie bag with some mounts and a 8 gig SD card, Elite Pro. Nice. That little tool kit. Always use more tools. A little fan, a little tiny little fan. Hmm, that's tiny. And... More mounting hardware. These look like uh, rail slot hardware pieces. So we'll put all that stuff back in there and we'll be careful with the extruder. Make sure we handle that with care. Let's put that there, let's put that there, let's put that there. Down in here we have some more acrylic parts and another bag of materials. Not sure what all this stuff is. This actually looks like a feed gear. We'll see as we go. I know these are for the aluminum rails or aluminum extrusion for mounting. So we'll see as we go. It's going to be a fun kit. I can't wait to build this live with you guys. Hopefully next weekend we'll be able to do that. Next slot we have some more acrylic parts and we have more roller assemblies. Awesome. Drop that in there. And we have our power supply. Let's see if we can dig this out carefully. And it's in a sealed pack. Very nice. We have our 110-220 switch, which is very important because you know you have to be able to use this in multiple multiple regions. And it looks like, yeah, DC output, AC output. I'm unfamiliar with all this stuff, so I could ramble on about what this is. It says 110-220. There's no other real specs. Oh, here we go. There's some specs. AC output, AC out. AC input, sorry, 110, 220, plus or minus 15, DC output, 12 volt, 25 amp. So anyway, power supply, awesome. And it's sealed, so it's never been used. Got a QC sticker right on it. Very confident that this is going to work. I'm not going to have any problems with it. Let's slide that back down in there. Sorry, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. And of course, here are our stepper motors. Really nice. There's four of those. I won't take each one out and show you, but there you go. There's four stepper motors. So let's take this heavier tray out. Let's try not to lose any parts in their slots. Be very careful. Everything I think is organized by step and it looks like we're down to the bottom. Set that aside. Sorry about the creaky floor. Okay, so we're down to the last level here. We have some more acrylic parts. Awesome. We have a cooling fan for the brain box, obviously. And here is the motherboard. And every single unboxing I've seen, these have been open. And I don't know if that's customs doing it or if it's just the packaging, but they're all open. This one looks like it's just been slit open slightly. Um, let's take the board out because I know everybody likes to see the boards for your printer. I'll be careful with this. And here is our brain board, our motherboard. It's very nice. It's very clean. Looks like some great solders on it. I mean, um, looks good to me. So we'll set that aside. Actually, I'm going to put this back in the bag in a couple of minutes, but I'm just going to set it aside so we can keep working on the unboxing. 
and another acrylic part at the bottom of that. So that is the motherboard and its containment system. We have some more acrylic parts and some more rollers. More acrylic parts. Anything underneath there? Oh, yep, yeah, there's a tiny little bag underneath there. This is awesome. I love the way this kit is, is organized. This is really cool. So these are obviously more assembly parts. I'll put those right back where we found them. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little tiny bag. Yep, underneath these tiny little acrylic parts is a little bag of parts. That's awesome. Very well done, TiVo. Very, very well done. We have some aluminum, aluminum extrusion. Very nice, very straight. Pop that back down in there. Couple pieces, and we have our lead screw. And this is a single lead screw. Yes, it's a single lead screw system. I've heard people having some issues with the bed leveling and having the carriage system go uneven but i'm looking at this lead screw and it is pretty darn straight so i'm not too worried it's our first kit we'll have fun putting it together next up it looks like we have our lcd pre-mounted is it oh, it's just slid together okay so a piece of acrylic and there's our lcd nice clean movement very clean very nice lcd and underneath that, obviously the hardware and parts for the LCD and the cable connectors and another piece of acrylic. So that is it. That is everything in the box. So let's spread everything out and take a look at it and make sure we have everything. And I'll get back to you guys in a couple of seconds and we'll wrap this up. Okay, so you saw the unboxing and I went through the checklist and it looks like we have all the parts. So we're pretty much ready to go on our live build. And I'm very excited about this, and I'm super excited about this Titan extruder. I know it's probably a clone of some sort. It may be a genuine Titan extruder, but I doubt it. It looks like it's a clone, a China clone. But there's some documentation in here, and I can't wait to open this up and dig in and see how this uh, setup works with the Titan system. And this TiVo manual, I am very excited about this. This is such a well-organized manual. Huge kudos to TiVo for putting together this very, very detailed and having all the parts separated in all those layers within the box that's very very cool all the bags are labeled so you know what step you're on you just grab those parts you don't have to have buckets of parts and bags of parts that aren't organized that's very very awesome huge kudos for doing that and i'm really excited about the live build i really can't wait to put this printer together this will be the print 3d channel's very first kit build and we're going to do it live like i said hopefully next weekend, so stay tuned. I'll put out some social media tweets and such about a time and exact date of when we're gonna build this. But I'm really excited to build it because I've never put together a printer before. I'm mechanically inclined. I guarantee this is gonna be an interesting build. So definitely, hopefully you guys will join us for the live build. But for now, I think we're done with the unboxing. Huge thanks to GearBest for sending out the TiVo Tarantula. I can't think, thank you guys enough. I, it's very cool that you guys would send out this very awesome kit for us to build here on the Print 3D channel. So thank you very much, GearBest. And of course, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in about a week and we'll do the live build.